big work day today. <laughs> and we're at a gym. So definitely gonna get a big bush workout in. We're making our way further from the mountains for a bit as well. It's gonna be much flatter, less moody. Feel, it feels more like home when you just see big rolling fields and, and hay bales everywhere. Back in the Shire, mate. <laughs> We've arrived at the gym that we're at. It's a nice little compact CrossFit gym. I'm gonna build myself a little desk because there's not a lot of space and get the bag set up. Big post-workout vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Molly definitely agrees. This is the first bit of summer I've seen in like three weeks. I oh, know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really much to talk about when you when you're just churning out work and working out. But I did almost hit a PB with my handstand push-up. I almost got three. Uh, I've had five with stag, which is lower um, because your centre of mass is lower and you can throw your legs around a bit more. It's slightly easier, but with the full push-ups, got a lot more to balance and to work with. So I'm happy that I got two and a half, but it would have been. Nice to hit that three. Two things. One, I love small gym culture because yeah, just sound. Something I love about vlogging is that I can film lots of stuff, but it always feels rude when you've just met someone to shove a camera in their face. So I generally just don't. But yeah, basically we had loads of good chats with some really cool people in there and it was just good vibes. Second thing, I couldn't really record that much because all my gear was just fully uploading, getting sorted out, getting charged. It's great getting everything done, but I'm almost thinking for future setups, I need two phones because if I'm uploading on one, if I'm working on one, then what can I film on if the whole point is to do it off a, off a phone? So that's just another thought. We're off to go get coffee and they've told us there's some incredible pizza. So that, that might happen. It might just be a heavy carb day. Well, you know, it'd be rude to uh, ignore their recommendations. It would be, it would be. Unfortunately, my 360 is in my bag. Big error on my part, but check out this bridge we're crossing. In terms of this coffee shop and its importance to Tom, <laughs> there has become a bit of a an enigma. We 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 rearranged our travel plan because they weren't open yesterday. Well, I say we, Tom rearranged <laughs> the travel plan. I just agreed with that decision. <laughs> I've planned the trip, and you know I've made I've taken certain privileges, and one of those is adjusting the entire trip. Well, I mean, most of the northwest was surrounded by going to one coffee shop and then following some nice mountains, then to go to another coffee shop. Have to have to make the moves if you wanna if you wanna visit Scotland, exactly. specialty coffee shops. Exactly. Well, were there two? Two. Two, and we we are about to visit the second. There was a third one that was alright, but it was like way over. No, yeah, yeah. It, it was quite way out. I mean, I couldn't justify driving two hours for a good coffee shop. <laughs> you know what do we say? If you, if you if you know it's a problem and you just accept that it's a problem, it's no longer a problem. Agreed? Agreed. Huh? I got myself into... Oh, I'm Tim and I do vlogs. I've lost my AirPods, <laughs> hopefully temporarily, but looking at the map, they are the other side of Scotland. Anyways, I'm crossing my fingers that my AirPods are somewhere in one of my bags in the Hawks box or just out of reach of Bluetooth, because otherwise uh, I'm not seeing those again. There we go. Amazing, thank you. These are ridiculous, but we uh, we couldn't miss out on trying them. It would have been rude not to have them. Coffee was incredible, and we've decided we've got a good standing desk. We're gonna get a bit more work done. 
Ops man building himself the optimal standing desk table. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh yeah. One of the biggest changes to my attitude to work was actually the environment that I chose to work in. If your work is on a computer, the chances are you can actually do a lot outside rather than being stuck in an office, in a bedroom, on a desk, inside for the majority of your time. It's impossible to avoid doing work, especially on screens and computers, but it's actually very achievable to get outside and change the environment you're working in. It's a tiny thought process, but it makes a huge difference to your quality of life and your enjoyment whilst you work. I've stolen Tom's idea for a standing desk set up. It's pretty good. Also, the sun is just amazing. Mmm, no sun equals no work. Yeah, we say get out like asterisks. Yeah. With sun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie wasn't allowed in store, so he's very excited to see us again. Ah, oh, cheers. I'm now, I'm now dog anchor. We have made it to the recommended pizza place. It does, it does look pretty damn good. We're, we're excited for pizza. I mean, it's been like months since I've had a good pizza. I occasionally get some salad pizza as like a, you've worked really hard, tree. Yeah, yeah. And like a, so what? Every few weeks or the. What would you, what would you call this one then? I worked really hard today. <laughs> well, it's hard for three weeks. This man's always slacking. What is it that you would desire, Melissa? More cuddles, always. <laughs> they only had outside seating and it got really cold, so we are doing the aggressively British thing of being on the seaside, in the car, with takeaway. <laughs> Survive. It works. <sighs> You know what? I'm pretty impressed by that. That's a PB from what I've seen. Oh, yeah. That's, it's definitely a Scotland record. Oh yeah, you want me to throw it? <laughs> oh, please don't go underneath it. There we go. <laughs> Pizza was something glorious. A bit of a filler day, as Tom was just saying. We're just sort of... Uh... Yeah, I, actually, I, was, I, I take it back. I don't want to use the word filler day. It's yeah. just being like a day not... not focused around going to... Something big or doing something, something big. big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like getting some stuff done. And, and just living, you know? Yeah. We're uh, heading off to camp. Again, pretty mediocre, as the day has been, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be quite a pretty one. It's just like, it's just... It's just a, a, a big you know what? car park in the middle of a load of fields, It'll right? It'd probably be nicer than last night's uh, murder scene. This is where we're camping tonight. So far, it seems to be a car park pretty much entirely for ourselves. Or a movie. Yeah, the car park we stayed in really felt like we were going to get murdered. We were going to get someone come stab us. Like, literally glory holes drilled into the walls of the men's toilets. Yeah. And it's got toilets, which is a bonus. <laughs> I, think it was, I think it was like, it was fine. It was more the fact that like, some people occasionally came as a layover. Yeah. And there was like the light on in the toilet bit all night. You know, like when you have like a, a horror movie where you have like yeah, a little like... Yeah, just a little light in the corner. Just yeah. enough for it to start blinking and let you know something's going on. <laughs> that was basically our, our sleep last night. <laughs> We've not had anything too tragic happen yet. Yeah. Apart from potentially me losing my AirPods. They'll be about... <laughs> Fingers crossed. And now let's come. <laughs> that's, that's the bit. That's the, the top bit. This top bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Mmm. We pulled out of the uh, the car park we were going to stay in because it was too close to the road for Molly and completely butchered the uh, jockey wheel. But everything else looks okay. It was making funny noises. <laughs> oh yeah, we're heading to a little forest now. Should be interesting. Is your foot now? I'm... I'm... Inching in second gear. Which one do you reckon we should go for? Whichever is the most away from people, really. Definitely off the beaten track. Nice little spot. So, tiny, tiny bit more. Stop, yeah, that's perfect. This is definitely one of our more jank setups we've had so far. Happy? 
Yeah, mate, I think this needs to be a bit lower. Very wonky parking, so we've done some modifications to our homemade chuck. Totally and uh, it's looking pretty good. Pine bullet. Yeah? What happens if we eat those? I think they're edible, but I don't... You know think? Them. What do you say? What's this one? Definitely not edible. Definitely not edible. Some some weird gills in it. Yeah, yeah. And th this one's psychedelic, is it? Uh, yes. Well, you reckon like two years to get to know mushrooms and be able to eat them properly and not die? You just pick the ones that you know and you don't touch the ones you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. Cool. Nature's really good at finding ways of killing you. It is. Love it. And uh, mushrooms are one of those things. Molly, are you just going for PBs today? <laughs> Have you deloaded? What's going on? <laughs> Properly pretty here. Tom just said this is a magical forest and I fully agree. This might be some of the freshest air I've ever smelled. Yeah. But it's just like the moss coverage. There's a lot of, a lot of very healthy plants around here. This stuff usually indicates that you have very, very good air quality and it's everywhere. Pretty sure it's called lichen, but don't quote me on that. Molly still has her stick. Big workout walk for Molly. <laughs> These are one of the ones you know. These are chanterelles. Oh yeah. It's good, good little. They're really tasty. Good little hoard that. Yeah, what is she doing? Mushrooms! Ooh, mushrooms! I'm Tom and I pick mushrooms! <laughs> bullet? It's looking like a big bullet. Oh, mate. <laughs> Are we having a bit of a mushroom dinner this evening? The collection grows. <laughs> ah! Is that the day? They're bigger. They are a bit wacky, aren't they? I've never seen so many mushrooms in my life. And I'm... <laughs> I was Tom yelling city boy in the background. That's what he's calling me all the time. Most of the mushrooms we are just having to leave because we don't know what they do. But the ones that Tom's fairly certain on, we've got a friend, it's called Benny, and he knows mushrooms inside out. So he's our double check. I'm good at uh, identifying these ones. Blackberries don't kill anyone. They're a staple of British lifestyle. Is he happy though? Have we got the clear head? Yeah. Amazing. They are, they are. Learn from the master. Oh yeah, man. Pounds a kilo. Have you weighed it yet? Over 300 grams, mate. It smells like meat almost. Yeah, like it's like just gone meaty. We're losing the light, so I think it's a good time to end today's vlog. I will show you the results of the mushrooms that we're cooking up, that Tom's cooking up right now, alongside some beautiful steaks. mushroom experience. <laughs> I really hope we don't die. <laughs> I really hope we don't die too. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to try the little, was it a chanterelle? It's a chan it is a chanterelle in English. Oh, I see, I see. The Frenchman. It's like more jelly than a normal mushroom. Yeah, it should be like, it's almost like slightly meaty. Mmm, I like it. Alright, now for the, the big old busny boy. Yeah, penny bun. Penny bun. King bullet. King bullet. Those are my picks. What was your choice? You know what, that's the same texture as fat. <laughs> Just tastes like rendered fat. Mmm. Mm. Good finds. And uh, this this steak you hunted today as well is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was a good bit of fun, but I think it's a good time to end today's vlog. See you soon.